Southeastern Bavaria borders Austria, which was also affected overnight. The police reported that as a result incident caused by fallen trees, five people dead, two of them children, and eleven others were injured. Basements were flooded, trees were downed on public roads, and police reported several traffic incidents involving hydroplaning. The land of Warburg reported numerous streets and areas affected by flash flooding, as well as some localized minor landslides. However, our authority also said that no one was injured, that the situation again to east to midnight. A local highway and railway line were temporarily closed. Rail service in the affected areas continue in the morning. At the beginning of the week, several days of heavy rain were forecast for months of the country. However, so far, this has been implemented only in the south to the loser extent to the east of Germany. With heavy rain in the upper reaches of southern Germany and rain expected in the downstream areas around Koblenz, Ben and Cologne, the Rhine is forecast to recover steadily over the weekend. Truth in out at around 1 meter and will reach significantly more typical level again. Scotland went from bad to not today. The country's first weather restrictions were quickly followed by a heavy downpour winning hour before the water ban went into effect at midnight Saturday. Severe thunderstorms began rolling across the west coast, dumping billion of gallons of much needed rain of the countryside. Yellow warning for thunderstorm from 8 a.m. to midnight Sunday. The weather service saying homes and businesses could be flooded quickly, lighting out cause damage and power could be out in some areas. Another potential hazard is hail. The forecast said thunderstorm could be seen almost everywhere in the affected era, while some nearby parts may avoid getting wet altogether. The weather has caused some disruption to roads and furies. The southboard carriageway of the M19 returned from junction 2, Petrius surrendered through the junction.